Good morning. I want to tell you a story about my father, Gordon Schumacher. Now, he would have been 108 this month if he were here. Now, back in the olden days, as I used to call it as a kid, his teachers didn't think Gordon was very smart. He didn't read or spell well, so often they sat him in the back of the class. In 1923, which is when this happened, kids' eyes weren't routinely tested. And no, what no one realized was that my dad had very bad eyesight. He told me later he'd never known that there were separate leaves on trees. It was all just a green blur to him. Finally, someone thought to check his eyes, and to everyone's surprise, once my dad got glasses, it was as if he'd been given new eyes. You'll hear this again. He could see the blackboard at school, he found out that he did indeed love to read, and most important, was actually very bright. Now this was a surprise to him as well, because he had accepted everyone's labeling him as not smart. Many members of my family have had not so good eyesight. I got my first pair of glasses at age six, and then found out that the wallpaper at the eye doctor's office was decorated with six inch large ovals, not small dots. When my daughter got her first glasses at age four, she promptly walked into a mailbox because the change was so great. My granddaughter Noah got her first glasses at age two, and my grandson Max at age six months. And for all of us, it was as if we had been given miraculous new eyes too. My prayer for all of you is that in this t these times of change, you can re-examine the world with your new eyes. So you can celebrate what's positive as well as mourn what's different, what used to be. We all need someone or something to help us open these eyes so that we can appreciate the tiny moments when the good is speaking to us. Whether it's a pet doing something foolish fog swirling in the headlights like last night, the scarlet flash of a cardinal swooping into a bush, or the glory of the changing autumnal colors. Please pray with me. Dear Lord, help us to appreciate that all is not bad. There are so many gems to be seen. And please, Lord, give us the grace to take in all that is wonderful and beautiful in this world, which you have made. Hallelujah. Amen.